Hi, this is Susan. I did my project on the Water Pocket Fold in Capitol Reef National Park in Utah. Um, the Water Pocket Fold is uh, one of the largest exposed monoclines in the world. It runs between 90 and 100 miles long, all of that being exposed at the surface which makes it very unique and special, and it's often called a wrinkle in the Earth's crust, also like a warp in the Earth's crust. I became fascinated with it because of its sheer size and how it represented such an amazing process of compression and uplift, and then, of course, millions of years of erosion. So this is the model. I had to choose a section of it I, I really thought a lot about how I wanted to do this. It was a little bit difficult once I got into it, it being a hundred miles long. And I just decided to do an area, a section of it. And this is a six mile by three mile area, kind of in the center of the fold. And I chose this area in part because it's where the oyster uh, shell reef is also exposed, which is part of the Dakota formation. And I thought that was also really cool. You can see here that I've included in the back where the original fold occurred and how the layers would have originally been seen. And then over millions of years of erosion, of course, now we're only seeing this much, much reduced surface, but also very uh, tilted and eroded. And because of the tilt and the jointing and the exposure, uh, this incredible erosion which has made these wonderful formations. I've included in that little map in the back. If you were to walk on the surface here, we'd be coming along and actually being able to walk across millions of years of geological time from the main coast shale all the way to Moenkopi. Uh, but on the other side, you cross over the Moenkopi formation and you only are going up to the Navajo sandstone, which would be over here on this side. And so this entire section is completely gone. So I thought that was also kind of cool that because of the tilt, we actually are exposed to millions and millions of years of geologic time in here, not so much. Most of the other parts of Capitol Reef and Grand Canyon and Glen Canyon um, the uplift in that we see is it has remained horizontal and so we don't get quite this fantastic formation that we get when it's so tilted. Um, at the right here where I'm pointing now is where this very old fault occurred under Moenkopi and down here into that sort of basement rock right at the, where the fold tilts down was uh, a very deeply seated ancient fault and when the uplift from the Laramide orogeny about 70 million years ago started to occur that fault was activated and rather than getting only pushed up like the other formations nearby we also it also dropped down and so it's that major fault that helped to provide this monocline to create this massive monocline that runs a hundred miles and then therefore this cool erosion. I also liked it because like I said this section shows here in the Dakota formation the oyster shells that are exposed in this area here which is the Wingate and the Kayenta sandstones in here is where you get a, a lot of the water pocket eroded, which are really cool, fun formations. Once I started working on it, it was really hard to distinguish the different layers from one another. Being tilted and being so heavily eroded, they started to really blend. Like in here, there are several different formations, as you can see from the key. Carmel formation, uh, the Entrada, um, and the Somerville just fused together. Also in this formation, uh, they found really cool oxide 